All right, hey everyone, Wonderbots here, and welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. What a title, what a game. Uh, first and foremost, thank you to Shattuck to Joshi for, uh, for sponsoring this video. Uh, one of our patrons is like, hey, you should play Lobotomy Corporation, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, I might try and shoot for longer, but time being what it is, this might be one of those that we just kind of play piecemeal here and there. All right, there we go. So apparently clicking on the logo... <laughs> I, it it, the, it lobotomizes the save. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, now now we're talking. Now we're looking at. Uh, now we're doing everything right. Oh. Wait, wait. What was it saying? It feeds on something. Hey. I didn't realize that it would go back. Mouse over. All right. It feeds on the evil that seeps out during conversations between people. Whoa. What is it? Hello, X. I give you a warm welcome to Lobotomy Corporation. I'm Angela, your advisor and secretary. My role as an AI is to assist you in adjusting to your new workplace, so please have no worry in speaking with me or asking any questions. Even an AI can have a nice name. Did you know that? I was born from one of the wings of the world. It signifies that I am one of the best to exist in this age. Ah, uh, I know what you must be thinking. Your eyes show that you think I look too human to be an AI. Am I wrong? However, there is a great difference between us. I am bound here. I cannot go wherever I please like you do. I may be able to operate the systems of this corporation to open a door or prepare a cup of coffee for you, but I cannot take a step outside of this building to bask in the sunlight or feel the gentle breeze. Now, in regards to my appearance, as you can see, the color of my hair is that of the morning sky after a light shower. The tone and shape of my voice is taken from the wisest person in the world. Lastly, my face is pi picturesque of the person who had the most beautiful smile. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a joke. There can be no such person on this earth. My appearance was designed with attractiveness to the larger number of people possible in mind. Oh, largest, sorry. Largest. If the way I look is pleasing to your eye, then I am working as intended. Moving on, artificial intelligence is much more efficient in comparison to humans in terms of multitasking. I am the best in a majority of work fields. I am able to handle the work of several dozen people at once. I'm certain many people have lost their jobs because of me. It's such a shame. Well, enough with introductions. Is there anything that you would like to know? Hi. Could you inform me about the company? That is not a bad thing to ask about. Let me put it this way. Drink. Drink. Your world is constantly growing and the demand for energy is exponentially increasing as technologies advance. All conventional energy sources combined could not sustain the world further. In search of a solution, we happened to stumble upon mysterious beings whom we dubbed abnormalities. Then, we figured out that energy could be harvested from these abnormalities via a special method. To isolate them in a controlled environment, and then to harvest energy from them. Hmm. I was going to switch the lights around, it's a little bright in here, but I can't connect to my lights. Our co corporation became one of the wings of the world for this discovery that benefits humanity in two ways. Once you are fully placed into the role as the manager, you will be able to access all current information on the abnormalities from the encyclopedia. It is very important that you do know and understand these beings well to the, to be successful in your position. Oh, you're switching all the lights around. Too bright. <laughs> For now, the encyclopedia's pages lay blank, but it will be filled out little by little. Don't concern yourself too much with it. It is the task of your subordinates to pen it. You have joined the company at an opportune moment, by the way. Lobotomy Corporation is always looking for ways to improve its harvesting processes. 
or processes. Our systems are continually updated to support this. Speaking of which, there was a new update to the system right before you arrived. That means the working conditions have been improved upon compared to those of your predecessors. Think of it as a small welcoming gift. Best of luck for us. I was just about to mention you. You don't understand the concept of patience, do, do you? Oh, pardon my manners, manager. I was talking to one of the other AIs that works here. I should introduce her to you. Our facility is a huge one, and even I would have trouble managing it on my own. So someone determined that there should be an AI to assume head control of each department. If I were to be considered the Cerebrum, they would be the Cerebellum. Naturally, of course. I should be your most trustworthy and capable companion of all the AIs. Well then, shall we greet her now? You can hear rushed fo footsteps from behind. Wait, is there an AI that has a body, or do they all have bodies? Or I thought I she think said they might have like they can't get out or artificial of the bodies. corporation though. Yeah. Manager, manager. I arrived just in time, right? The time is... Oh, only about one minute late. Well, I guess it still counts as on time. Congratulations on joining Lobotomy Corporation, Manager. I do not want to disturb this touching moment. Malchus, but every second counts in Lobotomy Corporation. Please make your introduction as brief as possible and go prepare for the meeting. It seems Miss Angela isn't in a good mood today. But hey, at least the other Sephiroth are looking forward to meeting you. Wait, they're called Sephiroth? The other yep. AI? Yep. Well, maybe not all of them. Oh, oh, where are my manners? My name is Malkuth. I'm in charge of the control team. Since we're the control team, we have a great deal of responsibility. I'll try my best to help you by improving the basic functions of this facility, Manager. I'm sure you're a bit nervous right now. It takes a bit of time to get used to things around here. I know from experience. But don't worry. I'll be sure to help you. I am, um, not exactly the best at everything. I used to be a problem Sephira, you know. I would sew buttons onto shirts in the wrong direction, or add salt instead of sugar to food. But still, you can do it. Just like I managed to. I'm sure that you will succeed, manager. I'll give you an easy task since it's your first day here. I wish you the best of luck. I mean, the, you hear the... Yeah, it's there. I can't take it anymore! Man manager, you're in the right... I have to get out of here, please. I know you're capable of it. You're the manager. You're not the same as the rest of us. You can do anything. What? what? Why do you want to quit? Don't you like working here in the control team? Every day here is a delight for me. It's horrible. I can't take it anymore. I'll go insane. Nothing here is normal. Do you really think you can't handle it? Please. I don't want to be here. Let me out of here. Please. Manager, even though you're the head of this facility, that employee belongs to my department. So I believe I can take care of this. Uh, let me handle this, please. Oh, uh, what? How does she handle things? I'm pretty sure she kills the guy. Does she just kill it? I think she does. I mean, she's the. I'm a little concerned here. I don't. I don't actually know if this matters. I think it's just flavor. What do you I want mean, to do? I think you should talk to the guy. All right. Hmm. Then, please keep this in mind, manager. Once they say they can't handle it, they are no longer part of my control team. The control team is on the top of all the Sephiroth, just like the central nervous system of the human being. If we go down, it's only a matter of time until everyone else goes down, too. At first... It was hard for me to get used to as well. But I worked really, really hard. So please, don't say something as meaningless as you can't handle it. Mission, you can do this. 
complete three work processes with abnormalities. So, uh, so it's, it's the same text that she had just said. Okay, you're right. Control team. Okay, safety information training team. Hello, manager. Oh, oh, oh yeah. this is her. Hello, manager. Each day you will need to expand one department. Are you ready to open up the control department and begin managing abnormalities? Vertically synchronizing terminal checking power grid. Assigning opponents weakening. Oh, day one. Day one, day one, day one, day one. All right. So first and foremost, we've got Reule. I don't think I can make anybody yet. So, oh, higher, mob. Okay, so these these guys are dirt cheap. Um, Katya, how do I change their names? Maybe it's under this. Ah, here we go. All right. Oh, can I? Oh, oh you can name them. Well. I guess I should probably start with randomizing their appearance. Oh, look at that! Panic eyes, dead eyes, normal eyes. Super crazy eyes. <laughs> Regular mouth. Wait, is there a combat mouth? Panic brows? How do I change their hair? There we go. I'm just gonna hit random until we land on a hairdo that I like. I know you can also import custom assets if we want to have, like, our own oh. style people. Okay, I like that. Well, yeah, of course you like teal, too. There we go. <laughs> but who or what are you making? Were you going to name a character after the patron? Uh, oh, I could. The only thing is, I'd probably want to actually. Uh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> there we go, Josh. Josh, is it? Are you ready to? There we go. That's the eyes. <laughs> you knew. You knew what you were getting into. You asked for this. This slight smile. Yeah. I think we're. I think. I think I like you know, that. You know. Okay. Uh, can we continue? Unless, what kind of well, virtues to, are you gonna give them? I wanted to mess with the eyes. Oh no! There we go. No, that's that's so sad. I mean, all of them are sad, Shell. No, but there there are ones that were normal. These ones are. You no, know, the Shell, characters This is weeping. when they're in the panicked state. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I can customize what they look like. When they're panicked. I see. And when they're dead. No. All oh, those poor little dot eyes. There we go. Let's see, combat face. <laughs> Some of the combat faces have the smiles. Okay, combat. We can't grass. afford any stats or broke. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're poor as dirt. It's okay. We can train them later. Mhm. Mm there we go. All right. Oh, here's the tragedy. Ah, what? yeah, whatever. I'll hire them. Um, apparently it costs more <laughs> love to customize. I forgot about that. It costs to customize. Yeah, it's okay. All right, it's fine. Anyway, let's take a look at real. Can I? I know you can customize the characters somewhere at some point, but still. All right, whatever. Begin management. Oh, looks like we have two other characters as well. Well, those are those are just the clerks. They're just oh, always there. Okay. They don't. I don't think they do anything. I don't think I can do anything with them. All right. What kind of creature do it? Is that a skull with nails? And it almost looks like it has the crown Get of him, thorns. Get him, Josh. Yeah, look at that sucker. Yeah, look at that. Crown of thorns and three nails. I wonder if that's some creepy allusion, allusion to Jesus or something. Unless it's just supposed to be the top of a cross. 
Josh, why are you bad at your job? Either way, it's still very biblical. Yes. 50, yeah, there's about a 50-50 chance he doesn't... Okay, uh, looks like they're succeeding. Yeah, it's mainly just his stats are atrocious. Checking voluntarily motives. Calming sound efficiency. Oh. It is possible that you've made some sacrifices to collect half the energy. Well, it is Zion. Ah, one sin and hundreds of good deeds. Cool. Unfortunately, we need more PE boxes. Wait, where did you see the name? Oh, Zion. Zion. Oh. Wasn't that one of the... There were there were two words used to describe psychological stuff, and Zion was one of them. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I'm surprised we're playing this game. I mean... It's one of those that I've been meaning to actually do, like, play this game for a very, very long time. The sins of Josh shall reach one sin and hundreds of good deeds soon. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Josh? This game knows what you did. Oh, Zion is the abnormality class. Uh, so ah. so its, its name is one sin and hundreds, hundreds of, good, of deeds. good deeds. Okay. That makes more sense. Oh. Okay. So I just kind of blind picked the right one. It likes attachment work. It's not really interested in the rest. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the interesting thing. I can actually do this as much as I want. We don't have to end... Uh, like, we never actually have to end the day. Now, once you discover uh, an abnormality's favorites... Then, why what's would the you point? do the other ones? Why would you do any of I the other think, ones? I uh, think sometimes you want the other energy box, but I could be wrong. Um, also, there's no like pure safe. Because I could understand if there were four different energy types that you were working towards, but it looks like you're just producing the teal boxes. It's an amount of this game is kind of drudgery. Because it would be cool if, yeah, you had to balance what types of energies you're getting out of them. Maybe you have to have an equal number of each in order to synthesize the energy that is required, which means you either have to manage a bunch of different abnormalities that grant you different energies in equal amounts, or you have to risk performing the other tasks. So one sin and hundreds of good deeds will restore the employee's mental state when the work result is good. Gonzalez, who received this benediction, commented that it felt refreshing. After the maximum number of PE boxes was produced with one sin and hundreds of good deeds, it restored the mental health of every employee in the department. This seems like a, a good creature? Yeah, so not all of these are bad. I'd be prepared to rewind a lot. Oh, I'm aware. I There's... wonder what the one sin was. Oh no, what's wrong? So He's uh, overloading. Well, sort of. The Clyphoth meltdown triggered. Here's the thing, though. Uh, it's only a big deal if we don't specifically go immediate pl immediately placate him. But since that's exactly what Josh did, it's no big deal. Yeah. Uh, in later days, you're going to miss the easy early times. Oh, I'm aware. Unescaping entity. Yep. Does Wait. not escape. This guy is very much just kind of a... a uh, ooh, ooh story records. What's in the story records? A silent abnormality that understands the conflict between good and evil. Its empty eye sockets stare at all those who encounter it. A giant skull that is attached to a cross. It wears a crown of thorns. It floats about two meters above the ground. While its appearance is bizarre, it is rare to record an incident of violence against employees involving this abnormality. It feeds on the evil that seeps out during conversations between people. The assigned employee must kneel before it. Standing appears to be acceptable and present their evil by confessing their sins to it. 
The way it feeds is unknown. Excerpt from Experiment Records. We have cataloged the sins of a person who can commit into three levels. Level one, a small lie or an action that either goes unnoticed or can be shared in jest. Level two, sins that are more serious and only shared with the closest of friends. And level three, sins so profound that they cannot be shared with anyone. These will be taken to the grave. Employee, redacted, had been assigned to confess a level one sin. Energy production via the abnormality increased by 12%. Employee redacted was assigned to confess a level 2 sin. Energy production via the abnormality increased by 15%. We assigned employee redacted to confess a level 3 sin. 1 minute and 48 seconds after the employee was sent in, a bright flash of light was seen. The light was so bright that it could be seen outside the containment unit. Immediately following the light, there was a facility-wide power outage. The phenomena lasted for 2 hours. Employee redacted lost 6 years of their memory. Further experiments were cancelled. Scientific ethics decree the, decree that all footage of those who participated in the experiment to be kept sealed. However, the incident left us no choice but to review the footage of the containment unit. All right. So, so do you think that oh. when the guy confessed his sin, the creature erased all of their memories after they committed the sin? Somewhat, I think he just likes to judge sins. I I don't fully know. But imagine if this terrible, terrible sin oh. happened so many years ago. What? What's up? Oh, oh wait, wait. There's more. Yup. Ah. Employee redacted. Why don't you read this? If this is the guy who sinned. This happened during redacted at around 4 p.m. Anyway. There was a railway about 20 minutes from my house. Some of my good friends and I decided to dress as forest animals. One of us, got clo one of us chose to go as a deer. It was a crude costume. Could hardly be called one, to be honest. Just Wait, did they get killed by a hunter? Oh, no. Keep going. Let I'm keep just reading, guessing. Chill. Clumsily made antlers in a dark outfit with some deer-like spots on it. Omitted. I don't know how our dear friend wandered into the woods. We didn't even notice he was missing for maybe an hour. We searched for him and finally found him in some bushes. Called out his name... And I'm not sure if it was from relief of finally finding us or what, but he started sprinting towards us. And that's when we heard it. The gunshots. Bang, bang, bang. When I came to my senses, I saw his blood spattered all, uh, splattered all the way to my feet. After that, not one of us dressed up as an animal ever again. That's all. By the way, is this really supposed to work? Observation log number four. 435. Its eye sockets are empty. It is a skull after all. But I doubt it's blind. It certainly has its gaze fixed on me, and I can somehow feel that it's listening to me. Confessing to it does lighten my heart, admittedly. Afterwards, we... Wait, I wonder if that was supposed to be in quotations, too, for the guy. Afterwards, we investigated the incident in the employee's hometown to get a better picture. We learned that a boy named Justin was shot and killed in a deer costume by hunters during hunting season. Unlike the employee's confession... Justin was repeatedly bullied by the other kids. Witnesses said that they heard the kids shout, Run, Justin, run! Right before the gunshot. After the incident, the kids at the scene moved out of town, and deer hunting was banned in the area. So they might have dressed him up as a deer. They might have intentionally mm -hmm. put him in that situation. Yep. Ugh. Okay. So at this point, we can kind of just do whatever. Uh, the day is done. Um, there's a couple of reasons to stick around. Namely, the more we do this, the more uh, the higher his stats grow. Uh, if I remember right, like you can straight up stat grind to make a character better. Now, if he's constantly doing the attachment, is he just getting more temperance? Uh, yes, I believe. Ah, so the point is he lied to the confessor. And it took six years of his memories. Ah, uh, he lied to the... That makes the sense. Creature. Yep. The abnormality. Do you have enough to yeah. make the weapons or the suit? Yeah. It's going to take a little while to get more. Now, what we probably want to do is actually just bail. And um, I don't remember when we exit... Uh, when we get the next day, but what we probably want to do is wait until we've got a maximum employees, or a decent number of employees, and uh, abnormalities to manage. 
just for convenient grinding. Because there there is an amount of grinding that can be done. And in doing so, you make your characters better and better able to like kind of handle the threats that they deal with. And therefore, like, outbreaks aren't as big of a deal. But that's extremely boring, and I'm not really sure if I want to do do that anytime soon. Let's see. One thing I could actually, uh, I would like to know, because I, I remember kind of parts of this, because I know you can start, like, roll back and start over. Why do you want to do that? Well, but, like, you roll back and start over, but you get, you get to keep stuff. And I don't remember how much you, stuff you get to roll back and save. So you don't want to complete the work day? Um... I was just trying to uh, get at least one suit. Like, it's sort oh, of a oh, meta progression. Oh no! But oh it's no. sort of not. It's not a big deal. It can see right through you. He will. Oh, he'll menacingly click his teeth. Is your punisher. Josh failed to elicit a response from one sin and a hundred good deeds. To be willing to bear pain is half the atonement. Okay, so you can indeed roll back, keeping your information and egos. So, I could keep all of my equipment, but character stats, not so much so. Well, that's fair. All right, work day complete. All right. Do this complete. Rank S. You okay. can do this. Player. Did I get any lob? Oh, but his temperance went up by one. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's three of them this time. What do they say? However, the curse continues eternally, never broken. She was so talkative before, yet in the end, loneliness was the only listener. This is a recording of the day we must never forget. Well, which one do you want? Wait, we only choose one? Yeah. Oh. We pick one. So each one of these is a different SCP that is locked away. Um, and we are releasing them into a much more, I'm going to say, holistic containment cell. A holistic cell? Well, okay, let's... Can you mouse over them again? Okay. So, there is the eternal curse. The second one is a... Some kind of woman? Yeah, in the end, loneliness was the only listener. Huh. Someone. And then, what's the last one? A recording, recording of the, the day we must listen. never forget. I love the idea of the last one, just because that sounds so... I, I'd, crazy dramatic. I'd be curious of what the recording is 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 it a, rec a recording from some part in let's do it our, our history face the fear build the future that is the motto of our founder the one whom we refer to as a isn't that interesting aren't you x yes she referred to your character as x so i wonder if that means that between the founder and you, there was A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You know what I'm getting at? Yeah, could be. So what happens when you reach Z? Huh? Do you just start over the alphabet all over again? Or the facility ends. Or is it a situation where it's just the first I, letter of your first name I, I'll, or last name? I'll admit I know like very mild amounts as a result of playing a little bit of Arena. Okay, fine. I won't inquire further, but it, I just find I mean, it interesting. All, all I know is that this facility is gone by the second game. <laughs> Tell me, if you had to choose one, what part of the motto do you prefer? The face the fear, make the future? I mean, I like... Build the future. Well, it's interesting because it says make the future on the left. Translation. I mean, this is a Korean game. Okay. I mean... I, I like saying build the future because yeah. I, I love the act of creation and what you create or build today is what's going to hopefully persist into tomorrow, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, facing the fear is what they do. They face the fear to... Build the future. The future is inevitable, but never ever undecided. One may simply lie atop the sand of the future, or they may shape it with purpose. Lobotomy Corporation is an innovative company. 
The harvesting technologies that we have discovered are such a... Oh, please excuse my lack of vocabulary. It's simply remarkable. These technologies could be the salvation of mankind. With these, we will mold the future, creating brand new paths. There was a bit of confusion last time, wasn't there? Usually I'm in charge of the security of your office. However, it seems that I failed to pay close enough attention to the Sephira meeting room. I heard that a control team employee has resigned from the corporation. Good job. You do know what it means to resign here in the company, don't you? I'll take that as a no. I do sometimes miscalculate what information I should deliver to you and what I shouldn't. Some aspects of our company that I considered natural and obvious may come as quite a shock to you. We have a variety of roles here. It's like a well-structured well play. Every actor has a role, and they must be faithful to their part without any error, synergizing with each other. Now, imagine that one of the actors decides to leave the stage because they didn't like their role. The actor should have played their predetermined part at the predetermined timing before making their exit stage left. But to leave the stage without fulfilling their part means that the life of the role and its actor are finished. That is what we mean when we say someone resigns. Great job, manager. You did exactly what I asked of you. I knew that you could do it. You'll never guess how much I rooted for you back there. As for me, the day went all right. We covered a joint emergency protocol drill for my team. Not a single dropout or injury. Everyone did a good job. Not to say that it was perfect, though. By the way, manager, have you seen something creepier than the abnormalities? Those entities that wander the facility, unable to be contained, and sometimes they manifest themselves in the corridors. The drills do no good when you encounter them, since we don't have enough data on them, so we always have to stay alert. Wait, there's other things that are roaming the halls? Yup. What, what's going on? No matter how meticulous our plan is, we can't control the unknown. Sometimes when I encounter them, I get a strange feeling. It's not fear or anything, but some other sensation. Strange, isn't it? I feel nauseous, like something within me is palpitating out of control, and it feels like I'm no longer myself. How can I describe it? Like something's wriggling inside of me. Ugh. Little by little. Ooh. Your job isn't- oh, I should say it in her voice. <clears throat> Semper Fi. Your job isn't just to keep the abnormalities in control. You need to make sure that they're happy so they'll produce as many PE boxes as they can. But please work hard on this. Everything else should be secondary to that objective. Alright, complete four work processes. Good day, manager. Would you like to expand the control department? I like I have much of a choice. Hey, thank you to B. Lewis for gifting us up to Anonymous. Uh, Willie and Clever Play Studio. I see you there. Okay. So these are research proposals? Yeah, is, so is these are different features that I get get to unlock, kind of. So there's game speed acceleration. Order agents to work on other departments. Joint So command. I like game speed acceleration. Recall. Oh. That, um... What this means is that if we're in kind of a comfortable state... We can speed the game up. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, and we also have some lob points. All right. Uh, let's see. We can't put lob. we can't put the lob points in our current guys. Uh, we could, but I can also get the same effect by training them. Mm -hmm. Um. So I, I'd much rather have multiple people, potentially. Maybe. Eh, maybe not. Josh. Okay. They were starting to train up their temperance, but yeah. Justice, prudence, fortitude. 
So move speed. Justice Work is speed. more expensive. Um, but increases their move speed. Otherwise, we put. We could just increase their fortitude and prudence. I don't know. Um, oh, that's interesting. So we're keeping the cross. Yeah. The sins. The one sin. Yes. Uh, so once once we've added them to our lineup, they're permanent. Interesting. So is it possible for you to play this game with several branching paths? Yes. Uh, so uh, even to the point where you are actually meant to play it repeatedly. Mm -hmm. uh, gosh, I forget. Do you equip stuff on characters again? But you... Well, yeah, I thought you had to click on the item in... It was in a menu. Uh, I forget. I thought you could only do that. Using ego. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, ego suits. Ego list. There we go. Oh, right. We didn't get a suit. So I've just mm -hmm. given him a cross. That's yeah, fine. Begin management. All right. So now we've got two. Hey, Josh. Go hug it. Uh-oh. What is it? Real. Go hug it. I don't know. Find out in a second. Agent en route. Confirming work sequencing. No need to get careless now. Josh feels the ominous presence that is in the containment unit. Josh can sense the twinge of sadness and rage that looms over the entire containment unit. A fishy, fishy stench. stench coming from somewhere? Well, it certainly didn't like attachment protocol. Oh no! I suppose Josh's mind was weaker than I evaluated. Please take care of them quickly. Get the other guys to, what, beat him? Okay. Order suppression. Boy. Oh no. Boy, Josh. He's gone mad. Oh gosh. What? What's going on? Do they almost well, kill Ryle? Uh, real just. Hit him in the head with a baton. Uh Oh no! I think I think the energy is moving. The madness is spreading. Well Can no one else take care of them? What's going on? Manager. What what Oops. do you Uh Did they go mad too? Yeah, they both Did went... you fail? Yes. Did they both just, went mad. You just failed utterly? How did... Well, let me tell you a story <laughs> about how I tried to hug an SCP and it didn't work. All right, so the answer is it doesn't like attachment. The thing is, how could you recover from something like that? Uh, restarting the day. Hmm. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't have Josh do this. Oh well. Too late now. Well, you got one energy thing. Yeah, what I should have done was actually sent the other guy in and had Josh as the suppressor. Because Josh is the one that can hit somebody back into the, sanity. Oh no. Oh no. Well, this is going to The rage to go... meter, okay. Well, They're even. Okay, there's one more energy block. This time Two on, more energy Josh blocks. dies. Ah, yes. My favorite television show. Not saves coming when it's the main mechanic. It It's truly the case. Oh, no. Uh, it was an okay result. It was neutral. Okay, is anyone taking care of the other one? No, you don't really need to. I mean, I know that the You don't need to happy. until a Clayfoth meltdown happens. Can we buy any information now that we have six units from it? Uh, no. Uh, yes, actually. Instinct. Common. Ooh. 
real go instinctive. Does common mean that it will be a more middling effect? I have no idea. However, we can speed this up a fair bit. Shouldn't you get more energy from the first yeah. abnormality? I probably should. Josh, go, go hit it. Yep, the fish Okay, is so this looks like it might have gone poorly. Oh, uh, no. Well, their stats aren't as high, right? Oh, no. Eh, they're fine. They didn't lose their mind. They didn't lose their mind. There's a stark difference between a container being half full and half empty. Oh, common low. This thing is very hard to please. It might actually like repression. I could imagine, considering it's a, it's some traumatizing event, that. Well, what did you buy with that? Uh, just another weapon. I should probably get the armor. But yeah, you still. should get the armor. All right, let's send Real to try and repress this thing. Well, it oh, seems okay. to like repression. Oh, okay, sense the twinge of sadness. Yep, the fishy stench. Okay, this thing needs to be repressed, apparently. All right. Wait, thought there were sounds of people walking from afar? Oh no, what's going on? I... I'm not sure. I heard gun noises. Yeah. Oh. I gotta send him oh, back. No, why is there a bad result for the guy on the left? Lack of stats or something. I don't remember if this guy doesn't like it if you have too high of stats. Oh, they can get angry if you have too high stats in a kind certain Kind of. Yeah, so if you notice high... Oh, level one, level two. Oh. Yeah. But it looks like that one can tolerate high stats for the purple. Tolerate is not necessarily the same. All right. Basic information. Boy. Okay. 1.76 megahertz. But what, oh. When, and yeah, by getting the higher observation level, uh, improve, it improves Was there chances. any lore about it? Uh, we're going to have to work on that. Okay. Okay. So in that case... Let's just keep doing that. Yeah, so it's just a, a weird audio file. I kind of wish we hadn't picked this one just due to its uh, it, it visuals. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. Yeah, oh well. I, I was actually wanting to see the woman that doesn't talk anymore. Do you know? Yeah. The, it was the center one. Unless it was a doll or something else. A previous guideline. Oh gosh, this thing has a lot of guidelines. Did you get everything? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. The higher the agent's fortitude was, the lower their success rate when working with 1.65 megahertz. Maybe due to the fact that violent tendencies flare up rapidly due to its influence. When the work result was normal, the Klyphov counter lowered with a normal probability. When the work result was bad, the Klyphov counter lowered with high probability. When employee Alyssa panicked during work, Klyphov counter lowered. When the work result was good, Klyphov counter increased. When all E boxes were produced as P boxes, the counter increased by two. The surveillance camera detected various noises emitting around the facility. Based on the fact that this occurred after 1.76's Clyfoth counter reached zero, it can be assumed that it that the noise originated from 1.76. Uh, sorry, the number of sections affected by the noise steadily increased until Clyfoth counter of it was completely recovered. Hmm. So, do you have to keep all that in mind when you work with it? Yeah. The whole panicking bit. It's okay. 
But yeah, this this guy sounds kind of annoying. And you have to keep that guy for the rest of the game? Sort of. Uh, when we... Uh, so you can and will often like go back uh, in time, to my knowledge. And mm. so it's one of those that uh, at some point we will reset and be able to pick new SCPs that fill out our facility. And we can decide not to have 1.76 megahertz. Mm-hmm. I Let's thought it was see. going to be a TV with a, an image in it. Why does it smell fishy? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it would have a smell. And there's people walking around, sadness and rage. The ones that require interaction. Does this require interaction? Because the problem I have with this one is specifically... Uh, well, when the result is good, life off counter increased. Yeah, so you can use this guy to potentially adjust it. the Clyphoth counter, but the big issue is this one. When all E boxes were produced as PE boxes, it increases by two. Is Clyphoth good or bad? Uh, it's this. So potentially, uh, after a certain point, it's going to make it so everything panics harder. Ooh. Oh, it's an unescaping entity. Can we look at the story records? Yeah. Did I unlock everything? No. We oh, have to can, get the rest of You can of only these. unlock story records if you have everything unlocked? Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's a really good justice farm. Oh, they're both unescaping entities. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, never mind. Wow, you have a lot of points. On... Oh, Clyphoth counter is the tiny watch on top. Oh, okay. I thought it was this. What does the watch do then? I am entirely unsure. I mean, I remember hearing about it in the tutorial, but yeah, it's completely slipped. Okay. Okay. This abnormality is a phenomenon with no visible form. It was discovered when employees began to exhibit shared symptoms when entering a specific area of the facility. They all suffered hallucinations of a specific nature, and their mental corruption increased. After setting a radio's frequency to 1.76 MHz, we waited. Following 12 minutes, a mysterious voice was heard through static. It was difficult to make out what it was saying, but it appeared to be in distress and was asking for help. 17 minutes in, the voice stopped and three loud explosions were heard, which were then followed by two smaller explosions. It can be assumed that the situation of the voice was it, it was in a was chaotic and based on various levels of screaming that could be heard. 23 minutes in, all was silent. Once 25 minutes passed, the radio began to emit smoke. We thought the machine had fried, but no fault could be found. Continuing past 30 minutes, everyone in the area suddenly filled with rage and started to exhibit the desire to assault one another with extreme aggression. Following the incident, all employees who took part refused to seek counseling. We couldn't make it mandatory as no one was injured, and it is still unknown what caused the collective rage. Afterwards, unknown noises and hallucinations started to occur near the containment unit. This is a recording of the day we must never forget. It brings us into a chaotic place, forgotten by many, that must never be forgotten. So I wonder, so it was someone calling for help, but there were explosions? Five. Too close, too far. Like, three close, too far, right? Yeah. Don't know what that could be referring to. Okay, nice part is... I can start buying all of his equipment. As I've got him largely on farm at this point. There we go. Can you turn off the basket light? Oh, yeah. Is it... It is reflecting off the television. Ah, that's why. Can't see it. It was just... The overhead light was too bright for me tonight. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, four hours of sleep is not exactly the best place to be. Ugh. That's okay. Just keep kind of chucking them in. I should probably alternate them a little bit. But that's okay. 
Yeah, so it just sounds like it was a distress signal. Yeah, this guy has one ego suit. Ooh. <laughs> but it needs 30. Looks a little bit like a massive. What is the. Uh, what's the point? Oh, I see. Kind of. Uh oh, it's getting a little too happy. Fun. Isn't that bad for the. whatever that Quife off stuff is? I have no idea. Is, can't you go and look, check the encyclopedia? I want to know what Clythoff is. Okay, cl counter up is good. Uh, somebody want to explain what the counter up being good means? So up is good, zero is bad. Oh, okay. It means that it's not at zero. Okay. I can work with that. If, it if it's zero, zero it escapes, but this is an non-escaping entity, isn't it? Yeah. So, that's a little odd. But it, look at that, it has a maximum Clythoff counter. So what happens when it goes above oh. four? Oh, okay. So maybe it's the fact that it... Oh, can it actually affect everything outside? Yeah, maybe it pisses everything else off. Ah. Uh... So, will our units start getting aggressive if it's not brought down? Maybe. Someone has to panic for it to go back down, though, correct? Yeah, but for now, it's no biggie. Okay. We done. We got some more lob. Yeah, that weird static room effect that made my dudes crazy. That's a zero effect. So, remember how the hallway is you all staticky? <laughs> 